This is my new favorite way of capturing clips from all of my gaming sessions. If you've ever wanted to grab highlights from your Valorant games or Overwatch games or whatever game that you play so that you can turn them into TikToks or YouTube videos, but you don't feel like setting up all the recording software and opening up OBS and then remembering to hit the clip button on your keyboard, this program just finds all your highlights for you automatically. You literally don't have to think about anything. You just play the games as if you normally play them and this program will just go in and find all your kills, all your victories, all the times that you get killed. And then when you close your game, you're left with a ton of clean gameplay footage with no overlays, no watermarks, no webcams, nothing, so that you can go and edit them later. You can even see the clips in real time as the program makes them. So if you do something sick in your game, you can just press a button on your keyboard and see what just happened without having to leave the game. Like this is crazy. It even keeps track of all your matches and tells you how many kills you got with markers for when each event happened. And I didn't even have to touch anything to make all these clips. It just made it for me. So this is called Outplayed, and it's basically a tool that constantly records your gameplay, but it's hooked into the actual game that you're playing. So it knows when specific in-game events happen, like when you get a knockdown in Apex or score a goal in soccer car. And then when it detects those events, it just saves a clip for you. So you don't end up with like 150 hours of footage that you have to sort through later. You can do your all out binge session of Apex and then when you're done, everything is just there neatly organized for you. In the case of Apex, which is the only game that I actually play, you can even save whole matches. So every time you start a new match, it starts a new recording in the background without you having to do anything. This is so much better than using OBS to record footage because with OBS, you have to remember to open it up. You have to remember to hit the record button and then remember to hit the hotkey for the replay buffer. And then you're like, what's a replay buffer? I'm not a computer, what is this? Like, you're not gonna wanna do that every single time you sit down and just wanna chill and play Apex with the boys, but, the thing is, if you don't open up OBS, that 20 bomb, that 20 bomb can hit at any time and you don't wanna miss that recording because you were too lazy to open up OBS. So using an automatic clipping tool like Outplayed is insanely convenient because you can just have it on in the background every time you play games. You never even notice that it's on and then you'll never have to worry about missing that once in a lifetime game that you swear happened, but none of your friends believe you because you don't have any evidence that it happened. Now Outplayed is specifically for recording gameplay footage. This has nothing to do with automatically clipping your Twitch streams or YouTube footage. It's not that kind of tool. But if you are looking for a tool that does that, today's video sponsor, Cut Labs, does exactly that. Cut Labs makes vertical clips from your Twitch streams completely automated. It uses AI to find all your headshots, multi-kills, or just funny moments, and then automatically puts them in vertical format with captions ready for you to post it to TikTok if that still exists by the time you watch this. When you're done streaming, you just drop in the link to your VOD, walk away for like half an hour, and then when you come back, you'll get an email with all of the clips that it found and made for you. It works with normal talking head streams too, so if you don't play games, I don't know why you clicked this video. This, this is a gaming video. What's wrong with you? One of the coolest features is it actually transcribes your entire stream so that after you're done streaming, you can just find a particular phrase that you said and then just highlight all those words, click clip, and then it, it makes a clip of that exact segment that you want. So give Cut Labs a try using the link down below. And if you use my code NuttyLamau, you'll get 20% off an annual subscription. Okay, so here's where the video actually starts. I, did I, I don't know if I rambled too much in the intro. Anyway, so to get Outplayed, it's pretty straightforward. You just go and you install it like every other program you've ever installed in your life. In the software, you just search for the game that you want and check if it's supported. It supports all major titles like Overwatch, Valorant, Call of Duty, Apex, you know, all the pew pew games. Unfortunately, not every game supports in-game events, so you're not gonna be able to do all that cool auto-clipping stuff that I talked about earlier, so I guess that's the end of the video for you. See ya. But at the very least, it can record entire game sessions. So it'll start recording from the moment you open your game to when you close your game. It just means that you'll have a ton of footage that you won't have any markers for or any in-game events for. 
I only play Apex, so I added that. Here you can tell Outplayed what you want to record, so every single game will allow you to record the instant you start your game, which you probably won't want to do unless that's your only option. You can record every single match, which will start a new recording whenever you start a new game. Or what I personally prefer, highlights. So this is only going to keep all the good stuff to save you from having to find all the footage yourself later. So you can tell it to clip every single kill, every time you knock someone down, every time you get knocked down. The events you see listed down here are going to vary from game to game because of course, not every single game is exactly the same unless it's Call of Duty. And that's pretty much it. You just have to make sure you have Overwolf running in the background. Overwolf is the overlay software that runs Outplayed, which is why you need to have it running. But yeah, it works really well. I know there's other tools that can do auto clipping just like this, but the thing I love about Outplayed that I didn't see in any other tools that I looked at Steel Series Moments doesn't do this. Metal.tv doesn't do this. You can adjust exactly how much footage gets recorded per event. Now, I tried metal.tv, but it's super annoying because it would only ever capture 15 seconds of footage. But worse than that, the footage ends as soon as the event happens. So let's just say you get a knockdown. It doesn't capture any of the footage that happens after the knockdown. It just ends abruptly, which sucks because if you're gonna post clips to TikTok or YouTube, you might wanna record a few seconds after the knockdown to get your reaction. Well, with Outplayed, you can tell it to record, let's say, 45 seconds before and 15 seconds after every knockdown. So you can capture both the moments and your reaction to that moment. What's more is if you have two events that happen back to back, it doesn't create two separate clips. Let me show you what I mean. One of the things I hate about Metal TV was that if you get two knockdowns back to back, it creates two separate clips but the two clips have a lot of overlapping footage, which is really annoying because that means later on, if you wanna post that entire sequence, you need to go in and stitch those two clips together and remove all of that overlapping footage. Outplayed is smart enough to save only one continuous long clip without any interruptions or overlapping footage, so that it's way easier for you to edit later. They also give you a lot of flexibility over your video quality. So over in the capture settings, you can adjust the bitrate and resolution of your recordings. Most important is the audio section. So you can set it to record just the game sound, which is the way that I prefer to get my gameplay clips. But if you wanna record your microphone too, you can do that as well. Here you can set where to save your gameplay footage. Now, one of the nice things is if you're recording really high bitrate footage, you can set it to automatically delete the footage once it reaches a certain file size so that you don't eat terabytes of drive storage. So for me, I set my limit to 500 gigabytes. And then once I reach 500 gigabytes, it's gonna start deleting old footage so that I don't exceed that limit. And by the way, while you're actually playing your games, if you press Control O, you can actually see all the clips as it's making them in real time. And then maybe you have like a really bad game and you wanna delete that footage instantly, you can just click on the trash button and then boom, it's gone. Or alternatively, you can click a star. So maybe you want to save every single win that you've ever had without ever deleting it. If you put a star next to it and favorite it, the system will never delete it from your storage. After that, you pretty much just leave it on in the background, go play your games like normal, and then you'll get a notification in the corner letting you know that it's highlighting your games. But other than that, you'll never really know that it's there. You just forget about it completely and it just gets all the clips for you. Here's some sample footage here. I recorded all the footage here at 1080p, 60 frames per second at 20,000 megabits per second, which for me is a good balance between quality and hard drive space. Obviously, if you're a huge data hoarder with a massive NAS with like 400 petabytes of storage, and you're like, you work for Google or something, you can record at like 4K, 120 FPS. It's just gonna take up a huge amount of hard drive space, but you do have a decent amount of flexibility to adjust the quality settings to exactly what you want them to be. Now, as for performance, you probably wanna know how much this impacts your system or your frame rate in game. Personally, I didn't notice any performance loss in game. I did record using NVENC, but it also supports whatever they're calling it on AMD nowadays. So all the encoding was done on my GPU's encoding chip. So it's actually very lightweight on resources. I, I could have done some benchmarks to get you some hard objective numbers, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't love you guys enough to go through all that effort. 
Just play it and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, then move on to something else. On my setup, I get over 200 FPS regardless of whether I have outplayed on or off. And my monitor is only 180 Hertz. So it doesn't make a difference for me personally, but obviously that's gonna be different depending on what kind of PC you have. But anyway, that's it. Uh, give Outplayed a shot. Uh, this has been one of my favorite tools that I've installed on my PC. Also, check out Cut Labs, the sponsor of this video, uh, if you want to get some clips from your Twitch streams. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end my stream uh, or video right here because uh, I have too much work to do right now. And honestly, it really doesn't matter how I end the video because if you've made it this far into the video, I've already extracted as much ad revenue as I'm going to get out of you, baby. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.